All right, you guys, welcome to the Shellers Field. We have a very interesting episode. We have a special guest. Her name is Linnea. She's going to explain to us and break down why she stopped dealing with women and went back to men. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What, what we do to you? We finna get into it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, here's to this episode. Toast. Yeah. Here's to this episode. Shall yeah. I can't wait to hear this. We be fucking up. <laughs> now, basically, this is a part two. So. Yeah, because we already um, had a conversation about us losing our women to men. Mm -hmm. So it'd be interesting to hear some of the reasons why you feel like, you know, you was done on this side mm -hmm. and what was welcoming about the other side that made you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, give, your, give your this side background, though. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So I'm going to start off by saying that um, originally I dated men. I dated okay. men first. Um, fuck some years and then when I finally was exposed because I was very sheltered so when I was finally exposed to the lesbian lifestyle I'm like ooh like I want to see what that's like <laughs> mm -hmm. so I dabbled in it and I and I enjoyed it way more than I actually did dealing with men mm -hmm. so being with women is not all bad for me and it okay. wasn't so much that somebody did something to me but for my personal preference and where I am now, mentally and spiritually, it's just not going to align with me. Um, mm. It's too imbalanced. Mm. Oh. It's... it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> we asked for it. <laughs> yeah, it's too imbalanced. Um, being with another woman can be so beautiful, but at the same time, it's extremely emotional. Yeah. And from my experiences, I've dealt with some good people and bad people, but the bad people were very manipulative emotionally and mentally, mm -hmm. um, spiritually, <laughs> physically. And I just, I had to kind of step back from that. I had okay. to step back from that. And then I dealing with men, it's just so much more easier. Okay. Like a whole lot easier. So when you say easier, like in what sense is it because... The balance that's lacking on the lesbian side is there on the male side. Okay. Um, I've had experiences with women where... If I'm too masculine, then they wind up falling into their feminine um, energy, which is okay because I feel like dating a girl, I like suds. So dating a woman is like, I get the best of both. I date a stud, I get a, that boy feel and that girl feel mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. But I found myself dealing with people who, when, I, when I'm showing my masculine energy, it's like they, they fall into their feminine energy too much. And then now mm -hmm. I'm feeling like, okay, look. I'm not the one walking around here in boxes. Like, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. Like, you got to toughen up a little bit. And I'm a, I'm a tough cookie. Like, mm -hmm. So it was that aspect. And then it was also, too, like, a lot of the studs that I dated had um, issues and, like, a battle with men. Like, they... Mm. It's almost like they hated men and envied men so much, but they tried to Be like emulate them. that man. <laughs> And it Dang. was it was just crazy. I can't even really break that down like I want to. No, nah, I get that, it. That aspect right there though really drove me crazy and irritated me. Okay, like to no end because it's like how could you despise something so much, but then you're trying, trying to be that. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. Um, yeah, I think we should respond that. to what she stated so far, <laughs> and I think you should start, Nelsia. Um. <laughs> <She's> like, um <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't have anything. Against what you're saying, because of course it's your preference. Mm -hmm. um, you say where you started. I mean, I can see where you say the softness comes out if you are too aggressive. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a sensitive person. Mm -hmm. The softness comes out of me, but it don't come out to the, where you're taking the lead of this con this relationship. Yeah. Exactly. It don't, it don't come out that way. Some yeah. people can't do that, though. I guess they can't. They can't. <laughs> and that's crazy. But my thing is, you said what we lack, or it's in, what we lack, the, the guys take care of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what they lack, do we take care of? In a lot of senses, yes. In a lot of ways, most definitely. Okay. Well, so, okay. Where um, a woman lacks, and I feel like a man has that aspect. Okay, I say, men, I know how to be, or I, I'm allowed to be a woman and be in my feminine energy when I'm with a man. Mm. I'm allowed to feel protected, mm. respected, um, you know, all of those things that come with that. Mm -hmm. And some women can give you that feeling, but because it's still another woman, you then have to step up and give her that as well. 
So mm, then you find yourself true, being too. the masculine one. It's, and sometimes that's just not what as we as women want, you know, like Yeah. I, 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 I can agree. Dig it. Yeah. I can dig I also it. I also feel like this though. Like when we when we talk about because I do believe in the balance. I do feel like that is important. Mm-hmm. And I've been saying that for a minute. Um, it's all about energies though. It's mm-hmm. not about who possessed the energy. And I told, I told um I told Nelsie it is before, I'm like, we present ourselves a certain way, but that doesn't mean energetically that's where we where mm-hmm. we dominate. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So um I feel like your your statement when you said um sometimes you have to show up for that that woman, mm-hmm. I feel like y'all underestimate men. They need that safety and protection as well. But this is what I'm saying. I feel like the world has conditioned them to suppress certain um, things that they actually need Mm -hmm. in these relationships. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why why I'm saying that. So it's like, like with me, I don't really know how to fall in my feminine like that. Mm-hmm. And I've been trying to tap more into my feminine side just to, um, yeah, she I can. guess, understand it mm-hmm. better and to know how to show up for my woman in that sense. But sometimes I need, um, I, I don't know if this if this considered feminine, but just see me in a <laughs> yeah. sense. Yeah, that's not feminine. Okay. Everybody wants to be seen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't disagree with you. Society has molded our men to think that they cannot express certain emotions. Mm-hmm. So I 100% agree with you on that. But it's not even so much that I that I I can't be that for a man, too. Because men, are, sometimes they be on their cycle, too. Just like us. Mm-hmm. I was about to say that. Yeah. I feel like their emotions they, are expressed differently. Like, sometimes it's yeah. in a form of anger. Yeah. And sometimes they get just as catty as the next woman. Yeah. I've mm-hmm. experienced it. Yeah. It's just still a different... Feel it feel different with yeah. a female. It's I just got, different. I got a question. Mm-hmm. What was your what was the last straw for us? <laughs> what 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 where what exactly <laughs> can you pinpoint? Yeah. Where you was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go back. So my very last relationship, mm-hmm. um, okay. I was dating somebody uh, back and forth across states. And when that did not work out and I came back home, um, I had came back home and I was on the verge of a mental breakdown. Mm-hmm. I was mentally and spiritually torn down. Like I was beat down to my lowest. And in the process of rediscovering myself and learning me all over again, what it was I wanted, I just knew that that wasn't what I wanted. That mm-hmm. last relationship just blew the candles out on the cake. Damn. Damn. He didn't light the candles. It blew him out. <laughs> that's yeah. deep. Yeah, it blew him out. So okay. I was just over it after that. And that's where it really started. And then I kind of like, got back, I got back home. I didn't really socialize and date and deal with nobody for like the first year and a half, mm-hmm. two years. I was mm-hmm. just really to myself and learning about spirituality and, you know, diving in deep to me and like facing myself. Because that was yeah. the hardest thing I ever had to do. Yeah. Oh, was okay. facing myself. Ooh, I know. Um, recognizing my narcissistic ways that I had to change. You're sure. just working on me, like I mean, digging deep. And when I figured out all of that, I was just like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I might have one, possibly two that I go back for, but everybody else, I'm good. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, uh, I do feel like women need that that level of stability to feel safe in their relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, not all men carry that. No, like no, no knock to them, <laughs> but it's still a rarity on that end, just like it's a rarity on our end as well. So mm-hmm. it was something that you said that I wanted to respond to when you said Wait, when you turn. she actually sound good. You keep you know, trying to stop oh, putting shit. this she in sound my face. Good. We're trying to get you used to it. <laughs> I don't want to uh, get used to it. I don't care if I am dealing with men. I don't want no dick in my face, and I don't want this mic that close to my lips. So, so look, <laughs> y'all better get it together. Now, how you gonna have? The and dick all, sucking lips, but you we know. all got preferences. <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> Marquita, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> now you go. God Listen, gave you a gift. I ain't said yes. nothing. And that gift God was, gave you a gift. And I'm better at it doing something else. I prefer. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you <laughs> we gonna get into that. Woo. So look. So when you said. Shoot. When you say when you go into your masculine, they automatically go into their feminine. Mm. And I I mean, 
Mm-hmm. Welcome to the balancing act. So mm-hmm. it's that's what I mean mm-hmm. about energies. It's not about who that's it. Yeah. who presents it. It is about knowing your dominant your, energy. Because sometimes y'all can't and the got, time you got to leave room for it. Like, True, but you when you have find to have room in for it all the time. Okay, what put you there much. though? What situations put you in those spaces where you feel like I have to fall into my masculine though? Because we got to talk about that. Because you, you said I wish I could just narrow it down. I'm your self discovery when you had to face yourself, mm-hmm. you acknowledged that you had a lot of narcissistic ways. Definitely. So what did you present that made a person feel like I need to carve out space for this mm. okay. presence? Good question. Right. Good so, question. I, I was a control freak. Mm-hmm. I wanted to control everything, and it wasn't because I wanted to control people, but I wanted to control what happened to me. Yeah, because I was I like had that. been hurt so much. Mm-hmm. I want to control the outcome, the narrative, and yeah. how this goes and how that goes. So I was always trying to control stuff. So that you know, and I've also been told that I could be intimidating. That's what I was going like, to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. think that that control makes people think you're intimidating yeah. or look look at you as you're aggressive? Yes. Yeah. I've been told that. Yeah. I've been told that. That's definitely something I'm working on. <laughs> you told some yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I would I, I, I would love the space to just be me. And, and I and I would like to be to trusted be. in those spaces. Mm-hmm. But when I'm not, mm-hmm. that's what it's supposed to be. Because masculine try to put to death other masculine. Like, yeah. it's one of the traits of masculinity is death and, and an end. Mm-hmm. That's why some men be looking at your ass sometimes like you. You going off the deep end, they look, they just ready for that to die. Okay. So, so they don't know how to respond to it. That's crazy. Yeah. Let me say this too. Another reason why I feel like I am overly aggressive and as masculine as I could be. Yeah, is let's get to the meat my and potatoes. Mother, my mother did not let me be soft about nothing. I couldn't cry. Mm. If, I, if something hurt my feelings, okay, cry about it. Wipe your face. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Life going to go on. She didn't want it. I was on the channel for a long time. Mm-hmm. So she wanted me to be protected and to be able to protect myself. So I know yeah. it's a protective mechanism for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To put that type of shield up. Yeah. Okay. Like even now, I, I don't like crying around people. I go cry at home before I cry in front of a room full of people. I don't like to express that emotion. Yeah. I was told that crying is a weakness. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And she was like that because of how she was brought up. And right. I understand, you know, I'm not mad at it. And I thank her for it because it's, it's helped me through a lot of things, but it mm-hmm. also has been a hindrance. Okay. So yeah. so do you have a man? Like, are you in a relationship? No, it, I am like a big single. Thing? I'm single as a Pringle, honey. I mean, but that's can it swing oh. anyway? Could it swing either way, male or female? Or is you just like, no? No, no, no. Um, it could swing either way. But like I said, it's only one female in the possible that I would actually deal with. Okay. Um. And that's right now. I just don't see it changing. Mm-hmm. But mm. I'm not, it's not the gender for me. It's the person. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't like to be put in a box. You so can't let's call say me. that. Yeah. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. let's yeah. say that then. Yeah, it's, so, not the, it's not the gender. It's the sorry. person. Check it out. So we, we always have, a, have conversations about the dating pool. Mm-hmm. What's it like? It's a whole lot of shit and piss in it. It's, it's, it's just <laughs> like over here. Man, it's worse. Is the world small? Yes. Are there Ooh. no fish in the sea? No. And if they mm-hmm. are, they all messed up. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've noticed that that world is is probably smaller than ours. Smaller than ours. It, it I'd be having That's, conversations. It got to be smaller than ours because they're coming over to us now. It's so more, it got to be smaller than yeah. ours. It's too many females to one man. It's so... It, one man has... That's to, nature, though. To, yeah. It's just, That's crazy, it's though. And you are you careful. okay with that nature? Because... Mm. On I mean, average, that's a man's nature. So either they're gonna do it without you knowing that that's what's happening, uh-huh. or mm-hmm. they, you're gonna have a guy that's honest, like, "Hey, I don't see myself just." If I can deal with it from women, why can't deal with it from a man? What you mean by that? <laughs> what you saying? <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> I be with a woman, and the whole time she dealing with somebody else, and not being that's honest about it. Or I've dealt with women who are dealing with other people and be honest about it. I mean, that's just people. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's that's not that agenda. same box. That's that box. That, yeah, that's not. You can't put these people. Everybody want to categorize something. You cannot categorize certain things. Human nature is human nature. Yeah. Well, here's, here's, here's the difference in natures. We are biologically wired different. So this is not me True. trying to um, I agree with get that. you on the women's side. <laughs> I guess you. This, honestly, I be having these conversations at the gym a lot. And mm-hmm. my whole thing is everybody just being honest about where they at. Mm-hmm. So, but mm-hmm. I can say on average, like I even look into what the male penis looked like on the inside. Mm-hmm. It looked like a whole alien. So I said, okay. <laughs> it looked like an alien. It looked like an alien. So, so do I should. No, 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 no. No, I mean like. 
we ain't got no damn. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. the whole joint, G. Like the way yeah. that shit set up. So the conversations that I be having, I just be asking them, like, do you feel like you connected to that motherfucker? They be like, no. Mm-mm. Some men be like, um, mentally, I don't want to fuck a woman, but my penis do. Yeah, it has its own mind. Yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah. Think and yeah, and I, I think women, women natures up. are different now. Now, be let's be clear. The environments that we grow in can shape us a little bit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think because we are wired different, we do have is it is a difference on average. Yeah. So I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with that. I still feel like people are gonna do what they want to do though. People are gonna be yeah. people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you can you can have that on either end. People you, gonna people. Be with, yeah. <laughs> That's my line. You gonna be with a female. She mm-hmm. could potentially do the same thing that that male is doing. Yeah. Whether mm-hmm. he's she's wired like that or not. I yeah. mean. You, you. Ultimately, it come down to choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they, don't, they make their choices. And yeah. that's what they do. Okay. You've had, you've been in relationships with women where you did feel secure, though. Correct? Yes. I said you I have. had good and bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't okay. say that they all bad. I've been in relationships where I was the one who wasn't shit. It happens. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, I ain't perfect. Yeah. I ain't mm-hmm. perfect. Mm-hmm. I am not perfect. I done been the ain't shit. I done been the bitch on the side. I done been... <laughs> The motherfucker fucking with somebody I ain't got no business. I done been the good wife. I done been all of it. Oh, I done man. been just a hoe to somebody. I, I done oh, been all of it. Oh. That's deep. Ooh. It's the truth. I we all you. have. We are, it's life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's I life. Agree. I hear you. I agree. I'm I with you. Because I've been somebody hoe too. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know what I've never been? Well, at least I wasn't aware that I I've been. I hate you. I did not mean that <laughs> in that way. That look, you just gave me. Because, you know, that's what, don't, don't, do don't that. worry about Come it. Come on, toast. Don't worry toast. about it. I love you for here. I love you too for here. I ain't been no body's hoe. <laughs> that's bait. That's deep. <laughs> I don't think, I've never been, uh, uh, no, to my knowledge. Oh. No, like anybody's side. Mm. Let me so go. You never Let me go. I've never been a sad nigga. You never <laughs> dealt with nobody who was with somebody. Knowingly or unknowingly, and then find no. out later. Ooh, no. let me go down memory lane. I don't call people in between stages. Okay, <laughs> but okay. no, no. Maybe they was just trying to get you. Then <laughs> they mm. came and though trying not to play. Hmm. No. You done had some sad pieces though. I'm sure. Hmm. So if you can, if you can, <laughs> um, if you can hmm. paint paint a per, a perfect situation where there's a a guy or no. Matter of fact, let me let me go back. How can we get our shit together? Oh. What what would you what would your advice be to us? Um, some people, a lot of a lot of lesbian women, studs and fans, need to seek therapy. They need Ooh. to work on their they childhood trauma. Yeah, yeah. They need to work on what it is that make them do the things that they do and why they carry that stuff into their adult years and in their yep. relationships. Yeah. And I don't mean just relation like uh, your partner. Intimate relationships. I mean, all relationships because it affects friendships. It yeah, affects it does. your relationship with your family. Mm-hmm. So, like, people really need to get therapy. They need to seek therapy and um, really work on themselves. Yeah, heal, motherfucker. Yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm with you on that one because mm-hmm. I, I I feel completely distant from who I used to be. Mm-hmm. Now, it's parts of me that I would definitely reach back for when when she's needed. Yes, mm-hmm. um, but like sometimes Nuki had to remind Nelsia. God damn it. <laughs> She'll be all right. Nelsia have to remind me of certain things that I've done. She's like, nigga, you did. I'll be like, I did. Yeah, because yeah. I'm still I'm still going down memory lane to see if you was a sad was a I've sad. I've never bitch. been a sad. Never not, not, not knowingly. I've never right. been a side. This <laughs> sounds right. I mean, we gonna see. some somebody probably got me. But I'm saying, like, me knowing. Oh. Okay, go ahead. No, go Your ahead. Your first love. <laughs> I was not a sad to my first love. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She that's got a tough. she got a side, and that's what hurt me. <laughs> that's tough. She had I'm just, just to hide me from her family. <laughs> that's tough. That, so, so I ended up a, being a side. She, she, got a, a side. she got a boyfriend to hide you. Actually, mm. do you know she never gave him nothing, not a kiss for three years. It don't nothing. Take, um, it happens. Nothing. So no, why, why, why would you why? Easy. But she wasn't attracted to him though. She used well, him. Why to would come he was a front for her? Three because years though. It was a first. That is three years. She she was scared. What? After she lost me, that's when they could they continued she on lost the fake you. really. Yeah. 
<laughs> you you was with me, dude. I know. <laughs> she asked her, like, is that how it happened? Well, that's no, how it happened. I'm just messing, I'm just messing <laughs> she, around. She lost me. I'm just messing around. Yeah. She was scared to come out. For me, I didn't start dealing she with wasn't, I was 21. It's so. nothing to be oh, out about because she's not okay. gay. Yeah. I was just the only one that she was attracted. She never saw me as he, she, mm-hmm. nothing. It mm-hmm. was like, I love you. Okay. Yeah. Right. That was the that person. Was it. You yeah. was you. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Yeah. I can see. Do. I didn't come out till I was 21. So, well, I didn't start dealing with females till I was 21. And when I was already at that point where I'm like, mm, okay, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So, my thing was, let me get my mama because I know how she felt about let it. Let me get my mama? <laughs> yeah, let me get my mama together real quick. <laughs> so, I took her out to dinner because mm-hmm. I knew she wouldn't act a fool in public. And it worked. Oh. <laughs> she sat there at that table and cried. She was like, I feel like I made you hate me. And I'm like, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't. Mm. I'm just curious. Mm-hmm. And she felt like that because of the things she taught me and always was telling me growing up, it was crazy. Yeah. But um, yeah, I thought I told her. Everybody else just found out by seeing me with a female. They're like, mm. what they doing? Uh, yeah. Man of my business. You mind yours. You see it? Yeah. You see it. Okay. So you made all them sacrifices for us just to go back? <laughs> I'll play. Mm, I'll play. Just to go back. You was like, Listen. I was trying to see. Can we? It, I if, saw. If a relationship can get it. you to where you are about to have a like a a mental breakdown, like you, you don't need to be in that. Yeah. Do you think a man could get you to that point? No, I ain't going. I think I'm the, different ain't with that men. Correct. I'm different that's, with men so than you, I am with women. That's where you're really in control. Let's get it. Let's yeah. get it that's to where it. you're really in control. Let's get not, it to it. Not, not so much. I'm not going to say. Mm. Yes, you are. Yes, I'm you in control are. Of yes, you are. I'm yes, in control of myself. Women got superpowers. <laughs> Linnea, you are in control. It's, all it's more intense with us. I don't look at It's more intense with us. I say this all the time. I'm like, I want the intensity. Of a mm-hmm. woman. I really do. I want the... If I'm going to live this life, mm-hmm. I want love to be intense. I want my friendships to be deep. I want mm-hmm. everything. I want to swim in the deep ends of the water. Hell yeah. I feel like... I've always I been swim. like that. I can't swim, but i always <laughs> been that way. I can't swim. <laughs> I, I don't want anything easy because mm-hmm. to me... It's just not. Yeah. It's just not worth having. Well, yeah. I'm not gonna even hold you. And I do I feel do. like men are easier. No offense. Oh, yeah. They're easier to deal with because they're simple. But I also feel like I'm also as simple as a guy. This mm-hmm. is the reason why I can't. I don't get y'all sometimes. I, <laughs> leave me the fuck alone. That's my favorite line for them now. It's like leave me the fuck alone. Well, so you now that I'm be, in a space where I could be more vulnerable and only to the point where I honestly I could tell you how I feel mm-hmm. and I could tell you what I want and that should make. Any relationship better. better. You can't yep. be mad at somebody if uh, not understanding them when sometimes we don't really understand ourselves. Yeah. And that's a yeah. big struggle for most women. Most women, it's like the simplest thing. Okay, like we can use this for example. Okay. You know how everybody had this thing where like I asked my mama, my woman what she wants to eat and it's always, I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. I hate that. Annoying. I don't know. Y'all like, annoying. <laughs> I can't stand a woman that can't make a decision. But it's a lot of women who, who are very indecisive. Mm-hmm. Like me, I'm a yeah. very decisive person. Okay. I make my man up and it's that. What's your sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. We, we, was, we, we, was, we was going, us. Marquita, we were going there when she said narcissistic ways. <laughs> Bro, I was going to say, I she's, say she's, a she's a Capricorn. Yeah. I literally said that yeah. to myself. Yeah. I said, I bet yeah. she's a Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all have narcissistic yeah. ways. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's terrible. It's okay. built in them. You Are you into tarot? Yeah. Okay. So you, you got know a whole what, thing over there. You say know tarot. what represents us in the tarot deck, correct? No. Uh, that 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 the little devil. devil, yeah, with the horns and shit. The devil. It could be the goat though. Wow. The devil represents us, but so it could be a goat. It could, but <laughs> it's a goat with a man's body with That's true. a man and a female chained to him. <sighs> Y'all some motherfuckers. I ain't gonna hold you. That just sent me in a thought. But that's also, a whole other conversation. I feel like but we got. That's depends. a topic that we that you put in there too. Yeah, I did. So I feel like it really depends on our upbringing. Like <laughs> seriously, yeah, it I'm does. Saying. I had a lot of narcissistic ways that that were just naturally in me. Yeah, but I had. I came from very good parents mm-hmm. and a very good home, and I was taught all of the right things to do. And luckily for me, I had that because I know who I could be. If I mm. chose to be that person, but mm. I don't want to be like that. So I refuse to be that type of person. Yeah. And no lie, I don't like other Capricorns. Yeah. Mm. I well, can't stand my own zodiac. They get on my nerves. Let me tell you no something. Comment. When I went through my uh my most recent breakup, uh, she's a Capricorn. I had to call my Capricorn friend. <laughs> 
And we sat there and she would, I was, we were comparing notes. I would ask her about this situation. She Bruh. would say, this is what she was doing. Bruh. This is, I mean, and I was like, whoa. Bruh. I saw your growth though. I saw your growth. When you, you say that you you had to sit back and look into yourself mm-hmm. and you find feel yourself. Different. I felt yeah. that. You feel different. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. you yeah. I felt that. Because you, you did. Good. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. You did dig deep. Yeah. You know what I, I'm saying? It was, it was hard. Man, that was like. Real talk. I never thought it would be that difficult to actually grow and change, but like true growth is painful. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's Listen. painful. So when you realize one one thing, let's say one of your narcissistic traits, mm-hmm. when you realize it and accept it, well, how you go about how you go about changing it, or because it's very it? difficult for them. Um, it is because we're stubborn and we're bullheaded and we don't want to budge on shit. We want what we want, how we want it, when we want it. Yeah, like that is definitely in me, not on me. Um, <laughs> right, 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 and I'm, that's a difference because you can take off what's on you. Yeah. you feel me? It's and that is one hundred percent in me. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, we all know right from wrong, mm-hmm. and we know when we move and mess up. Mm-hmm. And if I find myself doing something like that, I'll just correct it because I don't want to be remembered as that person. I don't want to be somebody that affects somebody else like that because I know what it feels like to be hurt and affected by somebody else's actions. Yeah. So I just, I pay attention to myself. You you think if you wouldn't have went through that breakup, you wouldn't have realized that about yourself? Nope, I wouldn't have. So, I wouldn't have. She mirrored me. She was mm. a Leo. Well, first of all, uh oh, <laughs> she was Uh-oh. a Leo. First of all, I have a love hate relationship with Leo. Uh oh, everybody do. Yeah. I, not everybody. <laughs> my my auntie, my auntie was my favorite. My favorite auntie was a Leo, and I mm. look at her and who she was as a friend and a family member. But mm. I also watched who she was in relationships. Complete opposite, polar opposites. Polar, polar opposites. Damn, I don't um, get that from none of my Leos. It, this is my experience. <laughs> this is my experience. And the Leo that I was dating, um, me and her were like literally a, a mirror and a reflection. She was like me. She was reflecting back to me everything. I think that that's I with had. anybody that we attract, though. Who we you think so? I know that. I know that. I don't like it for you. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's always a piece a piece in them that's us. That's mm-hmm. a magnet to us. That's the reason why we, we inter- attract. Not, anyway. No, no. Let me let me um let me rephrase that. Not who we attract, who we choose to entertain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, on okay. A, on a deeper level, because we can attract like any that. fucking body. Mm-hmm. That's just yeah. from looking a certain way and, and yeah. us falling in line with their type. Yeah, but <laughs> but who we choose to entertain, like really spend time with, Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, they definitely mirroring something in you that you Mm -hmm. need to see because either you denied it, Mm -hmm. judged it in other people, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. through that denial, or you suppressed it, or you're ashamed of it in some shape or form, you know what I mean? All of the above was me. Yeah. Every last one of those things. Yeah. That was me. So So now that you healed, we can't get the healed you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's that's yeah that's the real nerve. selfish that's the real nerve. selfish no it it's not no it's not yes, it no is. it's not everything happens for a reason this, this, I went through that and lived that lifestyle to grow into who I am right now okay and that's God what I got a plan for all of us that like was that. his plan for me let me tell you something I like that on the first on the part one of, and we ain't trying to change that by the way in exactly. this conversation I, you know, the <laughs> part, I respect everybody journey go ahead <laughs> on the part one of uh, of women leaving us for men. That's a, that was my my thing though. It's because mm-hmm. some of some women have just grown up and found themselves mm-hmm. though. Is they had to go through certain journeys mm-hmm. to to really figure out if they wanted yeah. to be with a man or a woman. And it was just a preference for me. Yeah, and so. it, it's it don't it doesn't even matter if you waited till your late thirties or whatever mm-hmm. to do it because that was that was my age frame. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. It's, well, it's, I gave y'all my all my twenties and all my. Th- I don't have time. I, y'all y'all I don't have any time. <laughs> all of your twenties, all of my twenties, and all of my thirties. So you did. That's true. You you was a you was a G. Let me yeah. let me ask you this then. Do you feel like our lifestyle separates us from God? No. Okay. We all got children. People are always trying. Um, this is it. Back to me saying how they try and categorize things and put people in boxes. Mm-hmm. God loves all of us. He know exactly how you preach that he know who we are and what we're going to do before we get here. And then we here doing it. And now you want to say, I'm going to hell because I'm doing what you said. Oh, you said I was going to do. 
real, G. It don't, that real. don't make no sense. Yo, you, there, you it don't so, make no sense. The Bible has been rewritten by man so many times. So I, I, I don't I, trust I, anything men had a hand in. Exactly. I question everything that exactly. men had a hand in. So, you know, people get to be a Bible thumpers and want to quote the Bible yeah. to you, and they be the big, the biggest the sinners. The biggest. You know, and they also preach that one sin ain't no greater than the next. You can go outside and stab somebody. I can go outside and cuss somebody. It's still a sin. Yeah. It's still, it looked at the same in God's eyes from yeah. what you mm-hmm. preach. They talk about what you preach. I'm glad you put that on. They talk about multiple religions and how um, this religion ain't that and this religion ain't that. I feel like God meet us where we at. Some people need Buddhism. Some some people need to be a Muslim. Some people need Christianity or Pentecostal. Like he meets you where you at. Mm -hmm. We all at the end of the day praying to the same God. I do. I do. um, I I believe that too. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. Most definitely. Most definitely. Cause I'm, I ain't I ain't going. Uh, I'm gonna blame you. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I, I love I like I you. tell men all the time. Like I love and respect y'all. Mm. My love and respect does not come with coochie. <laughs> it just doesn't. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> for real, like a lot of a lot of straight men gravitate toward me, and I think it's because of what they deal with when it comes to women. And I extend that just from being a decent fucking human. Yeah, and because you can hold a good conversation. Yeah, but well, also, thank you, girl. <laughs> a little sad compliment. Also, it's a lot. It ain't just us, you know, um, feminine women who are out here dealing with men. It's a lot of everybody out here dealing with men, but they hide it. They hide yep. it because they're ashamed yep. of who they are. Yeah. And I fought the lesbian community for that because no way in the world anybody in the lesbian community should be shaming nobody for what they do. When mm-hmm. already the world we are, yeah. is judging us. Listen, yeah. Listen yeah. I'm with you when you're right. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And you're right. Yeah. The whole world tell us we wrong, we going to hell for being a lesbian. But then in the lesbian community, oh, you wrong because you want to be with him. And you dress like a boy. You so know what? what's weird? That's her thing. So it, it was like a, a bisexual stud thing going on for like a little, little minute, mm-hmm. right? And I went on TikTok and I was like, um, I don't give a fuck what nobody do. I said, when it comes to the community, I think the problem is we try to uphold these images that the community community set mm-hmm. for us. I said, how you ashamed to fuck with a man when it's supposed, we, our lifestyle is supposed to be the sin. Mm-hmm. I said, you don't supposed to have that. Mm-hmm. Just be honest about who, you, who are. you are and where you at. Because mm-hmm. if I took a little, if I was like the little ball slap in front of the back, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell Nuki that, hey, I'm taking them balls to the back. And I would accept you. <laughs> exactly. Because we don't, we don't I would do never that judge shit over here. I, took, I took balls. I could never say anything about you taking balls That wasn't to no the real back. take. I know a baby Well, he hit it from the back. back. He did. He hit it from the back. But whatever. But if I did, yeah. I wouldn't be ashamed of it. And exactly. also, I feel like a lot of them, they're robbing women. And mm-hmm. Women don't trust us right now. And I don't mm-hmm. even blame them because of the secrecy. Mm-hmm. How you secretly fucking with niggas? Mm-hmm. I don't knock if you fuck with niggas. I don't judge none of that shit. Do your thing. But that, it's a lot of download men. Mm-hmm. I was just going to say, I it's was a lot just going to say that. Can we, call them, other side. Can, we, can we call them download stuff? <laughs> should, we, download should we call them upload or I upload? No. <laughs> I have no idea what we should call it. It got to be opposite though. It got to be opposite. It got to be opposite. Okay. Up, upload? Okay. Up high. I mean, up wait, wait. High. Down, what up. Would you do? Huh? Up, up high. Up high. Up high. Up high. You got some up, up high studs. studs. Oh, up high studs. Because oh, they, they looking up high when they sucking the dingling. I cannot. They, they are looking look. up, aren't they? <laughs> It's more than one way to do that. You ain't well, got to no, It's the ones I saw. On no, you just opened your mouth, your legs to open your mouth, bro. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Apparently, all. you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I can tell you this. If I was straight, I will be sucking dick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I told you, I can't. I, w- I don't think it'll fit. It's not. It, it'll fit in it'll your it'll mouth. Fit. Yeah. Oh. Both of y'all got dick sucking lips. Y'all don't play too fucking much. But you know it's the ones with the little. It's and you know it's y'all that lips do. that really be doing what you got to do. You see that jawline? Uh, Boy, please. I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you... Strong, baby. You gotta be fucked up. <laughs> Fuck lips, bitch. Y'all irritating. <laughs> Stupid. I cannot. True. True. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. Hell no. Bro. Y'all ain't shit. Ooh, I don't gracious. deserve this. I deserve mm-hmm. better. Look, so listen, though. I don't mean to go from religion to sex, but mm-hmm. I am. So can we, com- a, can we compare? Mm-hmm. Mm. So... Oral, you already know that thought came. Oral to oral. Head. Oral versus oral. What you mean? 
Who's been the most satisfying? Who? Women. No, no. We, okay, okay. Yeah, We're gonna do both fast. sides. Me women give the best. Women in. give the best. Yes. Oral. Women give the most the best oral because me and most most of the time they don't know what they're doing. They don't. No, they do not. Well, so why well, they, they, what they be the doing? Just teach them. About the first of all, y'all heard that song. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion said it in her song. She said, "Stop licking my pussy so hard. That shit aggravating. Like they, they about to lick them off, they're off your body. Like, superior. They're physically superior. They aggressive. They so, literally drop weights at the gym that ain't even heavy. It be, yeah, <laughs> they do shit for no reason. Yes. So what makes you think they gonna be like, yeah. hungry? So they straight they, Cookie Monster. That's deep. Rough it's like, tongue. Re- relax. Rough tongue. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. yeah just sc- scraping your coochie. <laughs> Don't let him have a beard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't let him have a beard. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what that mean? What that scratch that put, that put it up. Cotton on the Not cotton. Out. You got to go submerge in the tub afterwards because you cut up and you got the heel. Stop, man. The beard. Stop. <laughs> Now, now, let me, let me, let Why me, you look at me, let me put this out there for the men, cause I got me a straight friend now. Yeah, I got you. Come on, I got me a straight. Th- Welcome well, to the club. club. I'm just saying. Welcome to the club. Straight. She got her straight friend. I got me a straight friend, mm-hmm. and she give y'all y'all credit when it come to uh, penetrating, and also when it come to head. So her experience has been different from most of the conversations I have with women <laughs> that deal with y'all, but it was kind of refreshing because I'd be like, mm-hmm. I, I'm tired of women talking shit about the men, but they don't want to guide them and help them understand the woman's body. We are supposed to be a helpmate, most definitely. Exactly. But you cannot... Uh, no, you did not just use a Bible verse on uh, me. Well, I, I just feel like that's 100% true, but I don't feel like that with just men. I feel like that with anybody you decide to be a partner with. No, I do feel like... um. We supposed to be men's helpmate. Yeah. Still, even from this space, yeah. I just do my. I just help different. Mm-hmm. So I do. I do. I do. But believe you, still, you still a helpmate. I'm just talking shit. Well, it's the way they framed it in the Bible. That's why I heard I that. I, I can't quote the Bible. I can't quote. I don't even know it like that because okay. I, you know, well, back to sex. <laughs> um. So. <laughs> <Back to> sex. <laughs> <laughs> Come on with sex. the questions. Let's go. Cause, no, because it's the vice versa. So, do you prefer giving oral man or woman? Not prefer. Okay. Do, so which one do you enjoy more? I, I enjoy giving uh, oral to a woman versus a man. Um, that, we winning. Go no, ahead. no, 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 no. She, that protection, that shit matters way more than. And it, I know. Because you could teach that other shit. Okay. You could adapt to that other shit. I, I get that. I'm okay. not talking about in the safety ma- from safety for safety matters. You're talking about sex. I'm just talking oh, yeah, about we sex. Yeah, we on the up and up. I think yeah. that's because we we're more intense. We're true, not more true, intense. True, true, true. It's about a control factor. It's a control factor for me. It's this the, nigga. Just that, said, you see how that, you. It's just invasive. That's why she went like, in. The back of your throat. She want to control y'all. No, it's invasive. <laughs> it's invasive. I don't like it. It's, it's, I can't. What? It's I don't do invasive. That. Yeah, don't do it. You made me snort. No. No, no, I no. call. I said it's the alien invasion. <laughs> it is. It is. I, my you perfect made me man, do this. And I've funny? encountered them, the ones that don't really require that like that. And I'm okay with that. Uh, what? Yes, no. So you come across men that don't ain't require no it. It's some men. It's some men who actually don't want you I to ain't be no way in hell. on that like that because they respect you that I much. Ain't no way in hell. Respect yes, you. Yes, yes. Ain't it's enough respect like in the that. world. It's me and I have like that. No. And you kind of got to be like, like, nigga, I want to do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> relax, bitch. <laughs> Heck, you I, know. I have to really like somebody. I really have to really like a guy to want to mm. do that. If That's I don't deep. like him, I'm, I'm not even a kisser. Don't kiss me on my lips. Mm. Keep your mouth over there. God, don't bless her. Her so. next lifetime. <laughs> so give her ant lips. So friend. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about the penetration factor? Um, have okay, you been so, able to come orgasm? Are you satisfied? Uh, yes, I have been able to do all of the above. Ooh. On both sides. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, but oh, that's, yay. Because of, that's because of who I am. Mm. So cap. even if they yay. not all oh, cap. Damn. I mean, I do put the cap on oh, C cap. cap, but no. Here we go. <laughs> oh cap. It's about to go down. <laughs> oh cap. What? I know what I like. So if they not giving me what I like, I know how to get what I want. I know what I gotta do. I'm gonna come on. Let's switch. I already know you get on top. Sometimes I'm talking sometimes about. I already know I'm you saying, get on top. I'm saying when you do come. No. Okay. Sometimes I, sometimes I I gotta guide you from where you at or put you in the right position. Let's you got control issues. Hop on our side. I, I think that's why that. you with niggas. 
I told you that. They're easier to control than women. No. We too intense really, for you. They really are not. Ooh. I got my way more with women than I do with men. What? But. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You didn't feel protected? No, because they wanted me to protect them. You were right. So you didn't get your way. <laughs> your I way. I did when it came to a lot of other things. Not necessarily okay. that. Okay. Not necessarily that. I hate y'all. I hate feminine women. My daddy called me. <laughs> you love me. us. Call you back, daddy. They so goddamn powerful. <laughs> you y'all, love y'all, us. Yeah, y'all be getting my black ass. I ain't going to even hold you. <laughs> Look, so it's this dude called, I know you were answer yet, but let okay. me just say this real quick. It's this dude called Whole Math. Whole, Whole Math. math. I, I, sent see you, that. I sent you the link. <laughs> so he's big on psychology. So I'm looking at how he, he's breaking down women mm-hmm. and how he break down men. I'm like, why the fuck do I fall more on the men's side? Like, even how we gauge women mm-hmm. and everything. So I'm like, I don't think it's a gender thing. Mm-hmm. Now, I think men are the physical representation of masculinity. Because mm-hmm. they like more of them, not all of them, mm-hmm. on average. They built straight lines. Mm-hmm. And that's a representation of masculine energy. And women are more curvy, right? Mm-hmm. The chaos, the innate order. Mm-hmm. Let me get these hoes straight. <laughs> <laughs> right, because we out of order right. sometimes. That's why we are like like more curvy mm-hmm. and shit. Look at the Fibonacci spiral. Mm-hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like it's a perfect, perfect example. But I'm more like them, mm-hmm. and I'm just like I don't think it's really it's not the gender. Mm-hmm. It's 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 really the person. Mm-hmm. So I got some guys in the gym, right? If they feel um, secure in their masculinity. Mm-hmm. I would carve out space for it out of respect. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to hold you. But if I feel, because I feel safe to just like, my voice is changing everything mm-hmm. just so you won't be intimidated. I think it's a survival mechanism as well. Probably I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. I just don't know that's what's happening because I'm finna fight you niggas. I'm going to shoot you. Yeah. I'm not finna fight you niggas. Can I? But it also might be, I'm sorry, it also might be um, that <clears throat> around those masculine men, you're able to tap into that feminine side. You say it's hard for you to tap into. It's just easier for you to do that. I, it's a choice though. Yeah. It's not like a, I can't say I naturally do it, but out of a choice. Okay. So when you, you, know yeah. when you tap into making your voice softer. I don't make it softer. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I just drop the, the bass a little bit. Just do a little it. bit. So do look. <laughs> so look, one time, one time Fallon called me G. I thought I was just talking to the men in the gym, right? <laughs> Wait, bro. So I look. this fool in my side. Oh, so oh here's my son. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> it, just, it. G, Fallon called me and the bass came back, right? Mm-hmm. So one of the dudes was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's, 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 it's a difference. difference. Yeah, I, yeah. I got to carve out space for y'all because I have to respect y'all. I, I respect their position. And like, I'm not trying to be a nigga. So unlike the mm-hmm. women that you dealt with, I don't want to be a man. I just, mm-hmm. these are the choices that's in front of us. Mm-hmm. We didn't choose what the choices were. We mm-hmm. just chose from the choices that was already pre-chosen for us, right? So we trying to figure out on a, on a, because we got to be here physically, right? Mm-hmm. We just trying to figure out how to navigate that shit that's close, closely to who we are. Yeah. Unfortunately, we live in a world that boxes all in and got all of these labels and shit. So we just trying to work with what the fuck in front Unless of us you like me, you slap them boxes on the table and say, fuck that, I'm me. But, no, I want the box because my coochie can breathe. Uh, okay. Now, until I learn how to design my own shit, <laughs> this is what it's going to be. This is what <laughs> That's it. They fit me very well. It's, it's all right. Yeah, I, like, I could choose I like from the what was fit. already chosen. It's <laughs> I right. like the way they fit. I like the it's way they right. fit. Man, I feel Ain't true. nothing wrong But with back that. to answering that, uh, Nelsie's question. I don't even remember. Oh, um, so which one I prefer oral-wise, right? Yeah. Is it performing? Okay, performing. Performing. Okay. So, um... I prefer females. Yeah, I prefer women over men. Performance. And it's, um, yes, okay. performance wise. And it's because it's a control factor for me. Um, I I got more control over the situation. And then, you Because we submit. Not even just that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. It's, a male's instrument. This is submission. Goes in your mouth and down your Shit. throat. And I don't like that. I gag off my toothbrush. Okay. Gee. Come on, Lanelle. And I don't like I don't like um, sweet peas. Why? Because when them suckers pop in your mouth, don't don't do it to me, please. Oh, don't. On, what? On, on, on I had to go to sleep. Wait, if a male was to ejaculate in the back, in the hit the back, 
I can't even get it out. Ugh. <laughs> I can't take that. You know what's crazy? I all of your us also, now it does it does not play a part into why I don't deal with men. But when when you <laughs> factor with all of your us, <laughs> no, did it. I'll be like, I don't. Every time I talk to my straight friend, I'll be like, even as detailed as she she is in her satisfaction. Mm-hmm. I can't see it. I say I always see it from a man's satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Like if and I'm watching got, porn, I don't be like, "Oh, I know that dick feel good." I, it, it don't mean that. Girls out here, they on an extra whole another level of freaky. They straight swallow and come. I done had a man ask me like, "You go hell no?" Nah, Wait, so nigga. were you were you I saying that, that it tastes nigga. like sweet pea? Oh, no. No, she's saying well, I think I don't she like, was I don't the like pea comparison. You know how they the pop length of in it. your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. When you bite, you, you bite it. I don't like nothing that bursts in my I'm, mouth. I am unalived during this conversation. <laughs> I don't want nothing to burst in my mouth, okay? Oh my I say God. I don't want nothing to burst. Do you, a, do you want a husband? I understand it. Yes, I do. What, wait, what, what was she want a husband? Oh yeah, yes. yeah Nigga, I know that though. You wanted to though. open up to all of again, that. Like right, said, about, again, like I said, again, like I if I love somebody, I'm totally different. If okay, I'm in okay. love, that's a different. I will deal with some things. I just deal with. I might actually learn to enjoy it because I'm in love with that person. Mm. How young are you? Forty one. So how do you feel about men looking at us at, in this age bracket? You Here know, me go. and you the same Here age. Here we go. Let's go for it. Here we go. You know, they look at us like leftovers. Mm-hmm. They look at us like. They're more attracted to the younger women because yes. they're easily, I mean, they get, they're easier to um, mold. Mm-hmm. Um, they're fresh enough to have kids with. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel about that? Like being in a different dating pool now. So how do you feel about that? Um, Not all men think like that. So I just want to be very clear on that. Cause I mean, cause I do, I don't have my eyes and ears glued to social media. I like have real life conversations mm-hmm. Um, so but these stuff still the conversations oh, well, yeah. <laughs> that you get from yeah, social media. <laughs> no, I don't get it. Busted it me. happens on social media, but, but you have really those. say that I pay more attention to my in-life experiences with people. Yeah. For us to be in the age bracket that we are in and um me not having no kids, I really haven't experienced that. Mm. I'm told mm-hmm. that I'm rare. And yeah, because you've been fucking us. We can't get you pregnant. I don't want no kids. Thank y'all, niggas. Right, <laughs> we had it for twenty years. <laughs> I don't now want you no wanna... kids. So you know, and that's another problem that I run into because mm. I encounter men, and it's like, oh, you don't want no kids. You ain't got none. Why not? You wouldn't. You don't want a legacy. First of all, this world is fucked up. I don't want to leave. What? Okay. <laughs> Nothing but uh, I gotta throw this in there. My I straight, never had the desire to be a mother. My straight friend. <laughs> she said. What legacy is these niggas? <laughs> exactly. Okay, exactly. Even she said the same mm-hmm. thing. So, because she don't want to have more kids, so she like she has one, and she like um, this world fucked up. I said that's mm-hmm. crazy because I think the same way. I don't think this world deserve my seed. Mm-hmm. I really don't. And it's like we cycling the same life. If y'all really think about this shit. Because I had a um, black person, a black woman say to me, like, are you going to have a baby? Are you going to help the culture? I said, nigga, we ain't helping ourselves now. Exactly. With the lives that's here. You want me to add? You, I said, you act like I don't pay I don't pay attention to the soil we standing on. Mm-hmm. That we plant. You want me to plant my seed in. Mm-hmm. Get out my face. But yeah. love I y'all, have, but no. I never had the desire to be a mother now. Now, I'm, I'm be frank, I've been pregnant. Once in my life, I was eighteen, and that was my bad because I didn't show up for you. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. stupid, stupid as ever. <laughs> Look, like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> she threw me off for a second. A I was with her, and then she, I wasn't. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> go. So I was pregnant once. I was eighteen, and uh, my mother was not going. And at None that age, us. Okay. at that age, I mm. yeah, it was okay. a couple of years. Okay. Mm. Um, at that age. I did everything she really wanted me to do. You know, she kind of had like, she really, I was a had it, Yeah, really. she had, but she was running it. So, Outline. And I'm actually thankful that I did not keep that baby because he got a lot of kids right now and a whole lot of baby mamas. Mm-hmm. Damn. Man would have been number two. And it was somebody else pregnant the same time I was. So, ain't no telling. Damn. You no, know, that's my story, there. girl. Mm. I cannot. So, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Yo, can't y'all do said it. a lot of my feminine moments I've been trying to tap into. I said, 
I know. <laughs> you should have saw your ass. It don't even feel right. Ooh, it was slow motion. I saw it in slow motion. Cause as I, I said think, it, I looked at I you. I think Lydia's mas- <laughs> masculinity is breaking out my face. <laughs> no, I'll play. I don't feel like you masculine. Though. I feel like, let's, let's go there real quick. I feel like we mislabel things a lot. I feel like when we get in tune with certain things, mm. um, we mislabel shit yeah. often. So I have yeah. women around me that be like, they mention that certain people uh, mention that. Mm-hmm. And I'll be looking at their ass like, you are not masculine. Now, you might be a little aggressive. Mm-hmm. Aggression is not really a masculine thing. It's yeah. a person thing. And, and through their experiences, mm-hmm. like some women that get loud and they disrespectful, that person mm-hmm. is just disrespectful. Wow. <laughs> it's nothing to do with masculine energy. And it, it's irritating yeah. that men be wanting to claim that shit so bad. They be like, no, nah, she too masculine. I just had Why do you want to claim that? That disrespect that a motherfucker that's not listening, you want to claim that as masculine, masculine. so bad, only y'all that's can That's a that. great yeah. perspective. I just had, I just That's a great that. perspective. Did I you? Just, yes. Go in. Go in. I like, ooh, Listen. new can come in with so I was, <laughs> So I was having, a, we were having a conversation about um, the way things were going, the mm-hmm. direction it was heading in, and how he was conducting himself and how mm-hmm. I was conducting myself. We didn't talk for like almost a whole week, and he thought I was going to be the one to call him, and no. Mm. <laughs> so when I didn't, and he called me and I didn't answer, oh, that pissed him off. Did it? Royally, yes. Cause how really? dare you? How dare you not answer me when I call you? Mm-hmm. After we ain't talked in a week, and you already ain't called me and checked in on me, like nigga, bye. So anyway, damn, <laughs> bye. I said well, go yeah, in. <laughs> I, that's how I was feeling in the moment. So when I told, I'm like, okay, you know what? We can have a conversation about it. Let's talk like adults. I don't want to keep texting because things could be misconstrued. You know, yeah, again, you can take the tone so, wrong and everything. I yeah. said, let's just talk face to face. We had a conversation, and me, I'm animated. I move when I talk. Mm. Oh, you doing too much. What? It's the, you it's the stereotype you they try to put down. on black women. Yeah. What? These niggas can't think for themselves. Though. I'm like, wait a minute. I, I like said, to be so checked. Me slapping my leg. <laughs> <laughs> me too, but feminine energy yeah, though. Yeah, check me. I'm sitting well, there yeah, I'm talking about leg. feminine energy. I hope. It's bothering you that I'm slapping my leg. I said, I can't deal with this. I said, who in who here with the panties on? Me or you? Because at this point, mm. how is it what I'm doing, what most women do? Bothering you so to it now you feel like I'm being overly aggressive. Well, if you come to a man like who do you wear panties? How they react to that shit? <laughs> you know, I didn't ask that. I'm, I'm saying that. you act, it was but I will you make that type of statement. But I will. They take that as total disrespect or nah? Yeah, because they they it do was, take it as course. But if you acting like it, I'm a con. Exactly. That's you sitting here telling me I'm being XYZ. accountability. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, but see, <laughs> they accountability is something that most people will not take. They don't. It's not even in like in their vocabulary. <laughs> they don't know what accountability is. Like what? They never heard of it. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be. So many people are projecting they mess onto the next person because it's always you, not me. Yeah. But they I can't own I also own feel. Mess. I feel like this though. Like <sighs> people. Listen to shit online too much. That's what I mean by the eyes and ears be glued to online because it's this thing on black women right now. This shit's so fucking annoying, G. Like, I'm talking about highly intelligent people. They podcast is centered around pointing out the women that y'all want. Y'all know y'all finna make money off this shit. They don't care about how black women look. They don't care about focusing on the black woman that's on a shit. They focus more on the black woman that's fitting into these stereotypes and that shit translates into these relationships because a lot of people don't think for themselves. They really don't. So yeah. you doing this and talking with your hands is like masculine and that shit yeah. is not. At all. I was told I've been I was doing, doing that shit since I was little. Yeah, exactly. I was told I was doing too much. No. And calm down. I said, oh, you don't show No, that. he don't think for himself. And before I knew it, I was like, you know what? Because he kept on talking in circles and kept going back to, were you, were you, were you, were you? I said, you know what? I said, this conversation is getting us nowhere. I'm yeah. about to go home. The fuck? He like, why you come all the way over here to go home? Because I don't know why you thought I'm finna wear what you trying to dress me up in. I'm not wearing that shit. You not finna dress me up in your shit and but think I'm just pause. dancing it for you. Let me pause on Wrong that one, though. Hold on. Lene, L- 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 can you set my glass over there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, though. I do feel like when it comes to men, y'all should listen to them because they know other men better. So when you dress a certain way, I don't know what you was no, wearing. No, no, no. That, when I say dress me, I'm talking about 
I thought you were talking about your clothes. My clothes. I'm okay, talking I'm about still. dress me in the shit. He's trying to project. He's trying to project shit onto me. He's trying to make me be this person. Oh, you act like this. Oh, you that. Oh, you that. So that's what I said. I'm not finna wear. She lived. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, too. she went, she went, she went into you metaphorically still. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. You're not I'm, like, I'm still yeah. like where? <laughs> yeah. just, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, she I got you. You wanna dress me in that bullshit, I'm not gonna wear it. I'm I not. got you. And I dance around you. it. You want me to put it on and prance for you. Fuck you. Mm. That goes do, for do any you, person. Anybody. Do you think they have the wrong idea, like when it comes to um leadership? Yes, men won't look. I done just, I done told so many people, they want a bitch that's going to listen. They need a dog. Wait, Paul. Hey. And that's what Pose. you want to marry? A master? No, not all. A master? I like that. <laughs> not all I like that. And women, hold on. Because I done had too many females that I done dated. I done had ex-girlfriends. Why you just don't listen? <laughs> this dude over You are here. We got a pause, yes. though. Pause. We got a pause. <laughs> this nigga said you want <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look though. So when you say listen, listen, right? That's what. I'm, don't you want somebody listening to your ass? True, I do. But don't if think they misleading you, no, no, no. I don't think. Well, well I, I, I can't speak for them hoes. Let me show. I'm up. talking about what experiences I've had. Okay, and this because is not I definitely all of them. Speak for them. But a lot of them don't want you to have your own voice. No, they want you to do what they say. Obey. Like That's wild. Is, is, it, is it in the Bible? <laughs> oh, sure. That is in the Bible. That's wild, though. You are supposed to listen. Mm-mm. What was I about to ask? I missed my question. Uncle. Mm. Y'all keep going. Um, I don't know. I just. <laughs> she said, um, I'm too. Huh? You want empty too? <laughs> yeah, she been knocked her yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to get something out of her. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> all right, so damn. Oh, so I had one. Go the ahead. fact that all women are not like that and all men are not are not like that, is it really open or you saying there's only two people? It's only two right now. It's only one two women. It ain't two. It's that is that motherfucker half stepping. Okay. Yeah, possible. Okay. All right. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> One of the possible. Gee, this might be a spade. On the real, that's a five, the five of spades. <laughs> you, you try to count how many books you might get. Like, <laughs> you, hey, that like, seven might walk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> exactly. What 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 could that possible do different to change to become a, a, a plus? Mm. <laughs> One. Mm. Um that's a good one. I'm gonna have to have a little bit more life experience and grow up small. That's all. Okay. Mm. So you can't put that on that person. No, it's not. I'm just telling you how I feel about Bring it. Bring the mic in just a little bit more. That's why it's only impossible. See, y'all keep trying to put this in my I'm face. I'm trying to get you. You want a husband? I don't want to get you sweet, sweet peas, we, baby. We, we care about your happiness. Sweet peas. <laughs> we care about your happiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I will be just fine. Okay. 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 All right. See, now I gotta feel like I gotta so, suit my head. I had a question. Nah, we getting closer to the upper room. <laughs> I had a question. I definitely got an end of question. <laughs> cool. What's that? And I wanted her to ask us a question, anything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Or we can wait to the next one. But the question was, so when you, let's say you meet a new guy, not a guy that you already know that knows your background is with women. Mm-hmm. If you, when you tell men that you've, mm-hmm. that you've been I with women, that, yeah. what, what's that response like? Well, my most recent experience, e- um, yeah. I think it bothered him. And do we know? Do I we think know? He's insecure of it because they he look said, like us. He made yeah. <laughs> okay. He's made he made the statement um, that he was worried that my past life would be able to just snatch me back. And I'm like, you worried about that when it's females out here that you probably used to deal with. You you should be worried about them and them other niggas they mess with. Like you worried about me and another female. I've never encountered a man until this one that was actually bothered by it. Yeah. He's the first. You consider mm. that a real thing, a soft thing, an insecure I think it's just, thing? It's, I think it's insecurities with yourself. Because when you're secure with yourself, then you're that not going to worry be. about neither party. Because I don't be kidding if you fuck with niggas, it's, niggas at before, all. Yeah. Because I don't compete with It's dudes. what yeah. you're doing while you with me. It ain't even that. Yeah, I, don't I just want to be the only one. Exactly. That's it. That's it. It's I nothing don't, after that. I don't even. So with the guys that did accept it. What did they want you to bring? <laughs> most of them, yeah, us most of them thought it was a party. Okay, they thought it was, thought a, party. It was a party. Yeah, a party. Okay. Yeah, but I had to explain to him, just like, okay, not too long ago, I was Damn. dating <laughs> last year. 
Was it last year? 24, right? It was 23. It was last year. I was dating a fem- uh, uh, guy and oh, entertaining Oh, you did have a man and a woman. Yeah. But me and her were not- Y'all got hoes. <laughs> yeah. Me and her were not sexually active. So, okay. but me and him was. Mm-hmm. And me and her weren't because I was honest about what I had going on. And I just, I'm not moving like that. I'm not being with multiple partners at one time. Yeah. But we still did everything like couples did. We dated. We cuddled. We had movie night. We went out to eat. You know, all mm-hmm. of that. So I had both going on at one time and they didn't want each other and they were okay with the fact that I was cool with Look, doing yeah. what I was doing. RG but I was, was honest. in a poly. RG was in a poly. Yes, yeah, she was. They met, they liked each other mm-hmm. on a just a friendship level. They did. Mm-hmm. They liked each other. My RG was in a poly. That was not. Hmm. <laughs> that was not a poly. Okay. <laughs> what was uh, your question, <laughs> If you could blend the two, what would you take from each side? Ooh. That's not the end of question, though. If I could blend the two, what would I take from each side? Um, I would take the understanding uh, and the sensitivity from a female side. Because you all understand us in a different type of way. Mm. Um, that's unmatched. I would take that from the woman's side and then from the male side. She <laughs> said that's unmatched. Oh, that was yes. dope. That was it is. One. And then from the male side, I would take that um that that leadership, that strong, that mm. that masculinity that is when it's in the right place. Mm. I would take that and put those two together. That's why I like studs because most studs do represent that what mm. I just described. Okay, mm. but it's those the ones that's imbalanced. We had jacked up upbringings or mommy or daddy issues yeah. that, you know, yeah. and they bring all of that into the relationship and it affects, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, in other words, get y'all balancing acts, right? <laughs> y'all shit together. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with therapy. We can't stress that enough. We've we, we, we spoken about therapy plenty of times. And be and, honest about yourself. Be honest about where you at. Be honest about your deeply rooted issues that your ass needs to address, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like dead ass. We, mm-hmm. we in those times where it's, it's, Way better. Mm-hmm. We have access to more help. Nice. You have more people that's open about the shit that they've been through. So you got more people to relate to. Mm-hmm. You're not the only one. Yep. There's no need to be ashamed. Mm-hmm. The shit happened. And it's going to keep happening in different forms if you do not deal with that shit. Yeah. The shit is not hard to understand. People gotta now, stop caring what people think. Too. Yeah, that's is it thing. easy? No, that's thing. but we can simplify this shit just by making better choices, man. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I had spoke last week or whenever we the last time we uh, filmed in regards to caring about what other people think. Yeah. In some aspects, I don't. In most aspects, I don't. But mm-hmm. in some, I I do. Especially when it was the coming out time. I can't relate. I never cared. Yeah, I I did. Yeah, I, did. I, I said that I, I didn't, never. but when I look back. On certain things that I would do, I would look to see different expressions and how people yeah, looked at yeah. me. You know and that's, un- that's understandable. It's like that for some people. Me, I just never, I never cared. Yeah, I, yeah that's the that's the, the devil. The uh, devil. Maybe. And you. And the- <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, Capricorns. Go, go with the human body. Listen, you know what I'm Capricorns, saying? Capricorns, we, we are a good balance between good and evil. I'm, a, I'm in tune with my dark and my light side. Mm-hmm. So. You got to find yourself to do that. Yes. All right, so we're going to wrap up this episode, which was a beautiful episode. And we definitely appreciate you being open and honest. Uh, it, could, it could definitely be helpful. No yeah. doubt. Um, so we're going to end this with a question. Who do you feel age is better? Lesbians or straight women? <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely lesbians. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've yeah, noticed boy. that. Yeah. Lesbians age way age better. better. Yeah. 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 Right. And dingling is the difference. It to me it, it, is. it is. To me it, it is. is. It is. It is. It is. This is the reason why they think like I had I heard a straight man was like, and we age better. Women age like milk. I was like, yeah, because y'all getting pussy, nigga. Pussy ass <laughs> power. It's nurturing. Y'all don't age better than mm-hmm. lesbians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-mm. I can promise you that unless, unless we sneak digging Which I mean they not lesbians Lifestyle Eesh. definitely uh, Plays a part in it too When it's a woman out here Doing way too much Yeah that's true You know You I weigh t- yourself You weigh yourself down I say black don't crack Unless we Damn. doing crack You know what I mean Out <laughs> Strong This shit real Open But we appreciate it's you though open. man <laughs> Hey y'all keep coming Keep liking Keep supporting If y'all wanna see us grow Elevate into a different space Donate Donations, donations. Thank you, Linnea. 
Thank you Thank for you, having me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, got, you ain't got shit to say? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Shellis Field. Welcome to the Shellis Field. Lend us your ear and take a listen. Whether you in the whip in the bed or in the kitchen. Ease into our conversation and babble higher dimensions. As we tell you our position and show you that we're no different than you. Cause we all connected. When it comes to life and love, we all been affected. We all need self correcting no matter how you dress it. So turn your TVs and your volumes up and listen to the Shellers' perspective. Welcome to the Shellers' field. There's a lot of love in here. You vapping in a different atmosphere. Welcome to the Shellers' field. Where we live, laugh, and learn. And you delight from the bridges that burn. Welcome to the Shellers' field. There's a lot of love in here. You vapping in a different atmosphere. Welcome to the Shellers' field. Where we live, laugh, and learn. And you delight from the bridges that burn. Just free zone.